How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and we're reacting to The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 6, Always Accountable. I assume it's going to be like last episode with Now, where it's just going to be very applicable to everybody. Um, I could be to one person, but I think it's just going to be, we have, as a group, we have to always be accountable for, uh, you know, what we do, you know, individually. And maybe as a group as well. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so, seemingly... The gang is back together again. We're on our way back to Alexandria. Everyone is now accounted for. Um, good news. I mean, you know, not some great news because people died along the way, but now everybody who is alive is back together, except for Enid. She's still out there somewhere, but whatever. Um, she'll be fine, I assume, on her own. Fine-ish. Um, but yeah, so sort of ending the loose separation arc that has been going on for the past couple episodes like first six episodes of this um really interesting because it's not like the general you know a community falls everybody gets separated and then we find each other again way later down the line um this is more like season two where occasionally they would just go out of the farm just and just go do something and then they would have to like make their way back i wouldn't really call it getting separated or getting lost but like there was a few times where like that had to happen where we were like cutting back between uh, people trying to get back to the farm, like Shane or Rick and Herschel and them, and a few times like that, and that's sort of what it reminds me of. They're not lost, and they're not, um, tr like, they are separated, but yeah, they're not lost. They're not like, where is everybody? There is a place that we're going back to that we all know about. Um, so, uh, okay, yeah, what, what should we talk about first? The Abraham stuff or the Daryl stuff? Uh, it's so separated, I think we can talk about it separately. Let's just talk about the Daryl stuff first, because there's actually not a lot I have to talk about. It's kind of, like, very vague, a lot of it. Um, but so, the the guy with the gun, I didn't write down his name. I'm actually not sure if they even gave us his name. They gave us the name of the, the girl that needed the insulin. I think it was, like, Emily or something. Um, but I don't remember if we got the name of the other two. Uh, if they're important, I'll go back and either check this episode or write down the names when they become more important again. Uh, whenever they show back up. But anyway... The guy said, uh, while Daryl was, like, fading in and out of consciousness, uh, that he must be a soldier from one of their outposts, and he hates him, too. So, like, he expects that a lot of the soldiers, like, that most of them are working under him, uh, in fear of what he will do, perhaps? Maybe, uh, what was the guy from Season 2 of The Walking Dead? Was it Carter, I believe, or something? Uh, something like that, perhaps? Um... Because it, it started out with everybody being good, and just slowly, people got worse and worse. I assume it's not all their soldiers, but uh, I'm not sure why he immediately thought Daryl would hate him. Uh, because that would assume that most of the soldiers would hate him. Uh, whether that be Wade, or whoever Wade works for. Um, but yeah, so we found out that they burned the forest near like the start of everything, um, many years ago. Uh, which is confusing, because Patty was burned alive seeming in there or that might have just been a random other uh, maybe not maybe maybe patty was the driver of the truck uh right and then the motorcycle person zombie that was burnt up was just like to remind us like oh yeah by the way this is where daryl just was uh i guess that's more of what it was i was trying to I, I was thinking they were trying to imply that was patty but there was also a zombie in the truck which should have been the real patty um i also assume patty is like the person who owns the whole company they were talking about because it was Patrick's whatever fuel company, um, <clears throat> but yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell's going on there. I feel like that's gonna get pieced together a lot more later on. But uh, as of right now, there's not a whole lot to say about it because I don't know what what it, the full story really is or even what the partial story really is. Um, but yeah. So so I guess that's what was going on there. But anyway, so they burned the whole forest, took out tons and tons and tons of them, and uh, it seemed to kind of work. They are still alive as zombies, so it didn't fully work doesn't seem like burning them is the best strat. <clears throat> it definitely kills off the majority of them, but then a lot of them just get really burnt. Um, like, I I mean, you would think a fire like that would burn them all to skeletons. A fire like that? But, because I was thinking, like, uh, you know, if a zombie is on fire, just on fire, the fire might go out before it can fully reach the brain. Like, it might burn away a lot of the skin and muscle and stuff, but before it can even really reach the brain and go through that, like, I, I don't know if that would even be possible. Probably, but who knows. I guess it depends on also how decayed they are and stuff. 
But it was an okay strat. It was an okay strat. It definitely immobilized them, for sure. And that, like, uh, the the glass melting on those people. I don't know how that happened. Like, how do you stand there for so long? Maybe they were inside the, uh... But they were laying down, like, on their back flat. I can't imagine what possible scenario they would have to be in for that to have happened. Like, they would have had to have laid down with their arms by their side. Like, it's not like they were trying to shield their face or anything. They had to lay down with their arms by their side. Uh, maybe they just, like, killed themselves already so they didn't actually, like, we didn't see. So maybe they like, stabbed themselves in the heart then became a zombie uh, after the glass had fallen. But that's all we... They had to have been laying on the ground, then the glass melted and came on them and covered them. And then they had to stay perfectly still while it hardened around them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's you know when I was watching it it seemed horrific but now when I'm trying to think about how it must have happened it sounds like these people were already insane uh and then we get to uh the thing where Wade comes out with the, their big old trucks which is a cool intimidation thingy I love the big big truck things uh as uh I assume it's gonna be their thing oh no because they, they had cars and stuff but they had all, it was mainly vans and big, big uh, SUVs and stuff, uh, which is dope. They feel like a very, um, mm, I don't know, like Mad Max in the sense like, like they're probably controlling the fuel like company around there maybe. But no, they're, because we just took one of the trucks. Well, maybe that was the thing. Patty was going back there to steal a truck away from them. I don't know. I don't know. But that could be a thing that they're controlling a lot of the fuel and resources and stuff. Who knows? <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh, and to end it off, by the way, we, did, we got fuel. We got a hell of a lot of fuel, which is very, very good. We got a whole truck worth of fuel. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the Abraham stuff. Um, we also had an RPG with a lot of missiles for it, which is going to come in handy. Uh, like, we've seen the grenade launcher against the prison before, but an RPG? That's going to be taking out some of those trucks, I feel like. Or just a siege on, like, I feel like it can never be used defensively, right? It's going to be used solely offensively to launch an attack. And that's going to be something that we're going to hold on to for a while. Um, but yeah, so the, the whole the whole talk with, with Abraham uh, this episode and, like, Abraham and Sasha are two characters that I have a very tough time talking about because I get it. But I don't know how to put it in words. Abraham's a little bit easier. Sasha's also... Like, she's she's a lot less crazy now. They both have sort of come together, made each other more sane through calling each other's bullshit. And calling each other's bluff. Uh, but, yeah. Abraham really is like... He is a man of badassitude. He is a man who wants to die in a blaze of glory. And, um, you know, the whole thing of... When he was talking about Pete dying right in front of him, I said, it's going to fuck you up. But it's less that, you know, someone died right in front of him. And it's more that, or not that Pete died right in front of him, but that uh, uh, Re uh, Reg died right in front of him. But yeah, it's the unceremoniousness to it. It's the thing that I bring up a lot of times, like even going back to episode four with uh, Morgan and uh, Cheeseman, Eastman. Cheeseman, Eastman. Uh, where like, yeah, he, after all this time, and it's just like Morgan was, you know, faltering for a second so he stepped in and got bit on the shoulder and that that ended everything after two years that ended it that's what it was so unceremonious the the what is the line i i absolutely love it the great cosmic pete <laughs> like i think that is legitimately the line i'm going to keep using for now on whenever i have that really strong emotion of like you survived this long and and to go out in such an unceremonious bullshit way it is the great cosmic Pete. It is, you know, you don't get to choose how you go out. And uh, what Abraham is worried about now is living in this la di da, uh, everything is fine place, uh, and not getting to go out like he thought he would. You know, this army man, this military man, who wanted to, to uh, go out in a blaze of glory and, and fight for everybody's freedom and all that. Um, and yeah, now he no longer has the mission. He no longer has that drive, so uh, hopefully Sasha can give him that uh, that that something else. 
And let's be honest, who doesn't want Abraham? I mean, who could possibly turn down Abraham? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, but I very not not a whole lot to talk about this episode, but some things that are definitely gonna come up again sooner rather than later, I assume. We'll see you guys for the next reaction. Until then, get the fuck out of here.